Hello children. Today we will start with the lesson beginning of freedom movement. First we are going to see in this lesson what were the effects of English education. Because of English education the seeds of nationalism was sown. It encouraged political organization at all India level which could express aspirations of the nation. Now there were certain factors that gave a push to the Indian freedom movement. Let's see what are those factors. Centralization of administration during British rule. This brought the entire nation under one roof. There was equality before law and because of this feeling of nationalism developed. British built network of roads and railways. They did this because they found it convenient to manage the country. However, this increased communication among people. Economic exploitation. Due to the imperialist policy of England, there was exploitation of Indian people. Farmers were compelled to cultivate cash crops. There was burden of land taxes. Continuous famines, all this broke down the back, back, backbone of Indian agriculture. Traditional industries declined which led to rise in unemployment. The capitalists exploited the worker class. Various new taxes were imposed on the middle class. The next factor is Western education. New ideas like justice, liberty, equality, democracy, rationalism, scientific attitude, humanity, nationalism emerged. A feeling grew that Indians themselves were capable of carrying out the work of the country or the administration of the country. Now India is a country of diverse languages but with the introduction of English language India got a new common medium of communication. Study of ancient Indian history. Asiatic society was established in Bengal. Many Indian and Western scholars started study of Indian culture. Dr. Bhav Dajilad, Dr. R. G. Bandarkar, these Indian scholars made intensive study of ancient Indian culture. This helped them to understand that we are blessed with glorious ancient tradition. The Indians were awakened with a sense of identity. The Bandarkar Oriental Research Institute is working since last hundred years in Pune. Contribution of newspapers. English and vernacular newspapers and periodicals were published. Political and social awakening took place through these newspapers. Newspapers like Tarpan, Prabhakar, Hindu, Amrit Bazar Patrika, Kesri, Maratha started criticizing the government. Next, we are going to see Indian National Congress. Here, we are going to study establishment of Indian National Congress, objectives, the moderate phase, the extremist phase, the four point program, and the difference between moderates and extremists. Establishment of Indian National Congress. When on 28th December 1885, the first session of Indian National Congress was held. Where was it held? At Kokuldas Tejpal Sanskrit School in Mumbai. Who were the delegates? 72 delegates from different provinces of India participated. The important members were Vyomesh Chandra Banerjee and Alan Octavian Hume. Mr. Banerjee was a renowned lawyer from Kolkata and he was the president of the session. Mr. Yom, a British officer, took lead in the establishment of Indian National Congress. What were the demands made by this INC or Indian National Congress? Increased proportion of Indians in administration, 
reduction of military expenses by the British government. What were the objectives of the International Congress? To make people forget their differences, bring people on a common platform, make people understand each other's problems and views, increase feeling of oneness among people, make efforts for the development of the country. All these were the objectives of the Indian National Congress. Next, we are going to see the moderate phase of Indian National Congress, which was from 1885 to 1905. Leadership. Leaders were highly educated and realistic. They believed in constitutional methods. Western thinkers' philosophy of liberalism, freedom, equality, fraternity, these values had an impact on them. Important leaders of this phase were Gopal Krishna Gokhale, Feroz Shah Mehta, and Surendra Nath Banerjee. What were the demands? Get representation in provincial legislature, jobs for educated Indians, cutting down on expenses on military, legislature and judiciary should be separated for safeguarding legal rights of Indians. What were the differences between moderates and extremists? The difference was regarding the working system. Moderates advocated peaceful and constitutional manners. Extremists advocated serious struggle for attainment of freedom. However, the moderates laid the foundation of freedom movement and the extremists carried forward the movement. Extremist phase. This was from 1905 to 1920. Important leaders of this phase were Lala Lajpat Rai, Bal Gangadhar Tilak, and Bipin Chandrapa. The extremist leaders for bringing about political awakening among the people used methods like newspapers, national festivals, and national education. Kesri and Maratha were the newspapers through which Lokmalya Lokmanya Tilak made severe criticism on the suppressive policy of the British. In Bengal, Amrit Bazar Patrika was a mouthpiece of extremist ideology. Festivals like Shiv Jayanti and Ganesh Utsav were started by Lokmanya Tilak. Because he knew that for political reasons, if people come together, then government will ban them. But for religious reasons, if people come together, the government will not ban them. Tilak wrote Gita Rahasya. Its core was philosophy of Karam Yoga and stressed that people should always be in action. The extremist leaders established education institution for creating a generation which was concerned about its own language and tradition. These leaders were of opinion that if lakhs of people take part in the freedom movement, only then success can be achieved. They did not adopt the means of armed revolution, rather they insisted for an extensive public agitation. An important event in this phase was in the year 1897. In 1897 in Pune, the epidemic of plague had spread on a large scale. Hundreds of people died due to it. An officer named Rand was appointed. The plague patients were searched out and oppressive measures were adopted. As a revenge, the Chapika brothers assassinated Rand. The government tried to connect relation of Lokmanya Tilak with this conspiracy. After being unsuccessful, the government imprisoned Tilak with revenge. Next, we are going to see Partition of Bengal. When and who started or initiated this Partition of Bengal? It was done in the year 1905 and it was Viceroy Lord Curzon who contributed to it. The official reason given was that Bengal was a large province and difficult to manage from point of view of administration. 
However, the hidden strategy was divide and rule. They wanted to divide the Hindu and Muslims. Majority Muslims would remain in East Bengal and West Bengal was for majority of Hindus. This would break the unity of Hindu and Muslims and the freedom movement would be weakened. Now, as the British government started this partition of Bengal, an anti-partition movement started. There was public awakening against the partition. 16th October, the day of partition was observed as National Mourning Day. All over India, there were protest meetings to condemn the government's decision. Vande Matram came to be sung everywhere. As a symbol of unity, Raksha Bandhan programs were held. There was boycott of schools and colleges. Important leaders in this movement were Surendranath Banerjee, Anand Mohan Bose and Rabindranath Tagore. Due to severe dissatisfaction among the people, the partition was annulled. That is, it was declared invalid. Indian National Congress session of 1906. Dada Bhai Nauroji was the president of this session. The first time the word Swaraj was used. It was used in the speech by the president. Who was the president? Dada Bhai Nauroji. In his presidential speech, he gave the message that we should remain united, try sincerely and fulfill the aim of Swaraj so that today we will be able to save lakhs of people suffering from poverty, hunger, diseases and India will get a respectable position among developed countries. In the same session, a four point program was accepted. What were the four points of this program? Swaraj, Swadeshi, National Education and Boycott. Now why Swadeshi? What was the reason for choosing these four programs? The leaders thought that through the Swadeshi movement, we will be self-sufficient. To follow the path of Swadeshi, they would have to bring together capital, resources, manpower and other resources. And from this, the benefit of the country could be achieved. It was decided that boycotting of foreign goods is the first step and boycott of foreign rule will be the next step. Due to boycott, they will be able to attack the roots of British imperialism. Do you know, Gopal Krishna Gokhale founded the Servants of India Society in 1905. To create love for the country, teach them self-sacrifice of self-interest, differences between religion and caste should be destroyed, and to create social harmony, spread of education were the main objectives of the Servants of India Society. So what were the objectives? To remove hate between people, to encourage self-sacrifice or sacrificing one's own interest. Differences between religion and caste would be removed. Create social harmony and spread education among the people. Split in Congress. Now this happened in the Surat session of 1907. What was the reason? The moderates were trying to keep aside resolution of Swadeshi and boycott. The extremist leaders were trying that this should not be successful. Moderate leaders thought that extremist leaders were trying to capture Indian National Congress. Here we see that Lala Lajpat Rai tries to act as mediator, but he failed to resolve the issue. And finally, there was a split in the Indian National Congress. Suppression of the British To control the growing unity and public opinion which was against British rule, the British undertook certain measures. Now what were these? 
Public meetings were banned. Strict punishment was given for breaking law. Restrictions were imposed on newspapers. Printing press were confisc confiscated. Writers and editors were imprisoned. Lokmanya Tilak was sent to Mandalay Jail at Myanmar for six years. Vipin Chandra Pal was sentenced to jail. Lala Lajpat Rai was deported from Punjab. Now, because of all this, the natives also reacted and there was firing and bomb attacks. Establishment of Muslim League in the year 1906. The British were disturbed because of the growing unity among the people. They had seen what this unity could do to their rule. When they had witnessed it in the case of the anti-partition movement. Therefore, the British once again followed the policy of divide and rule. They started using the propaganda that for safeguarding the interest of Muslims, they should have a separate political organization. Due to the motivation of the British government, a committee of upper class Muslims under the leadership of Aga Khan met Governor General Lord Minto. Due to the motivation from Lord Minto and other British officers, the Muslim League was established in 1906. Next, we come to Morley Minto Act. Now, why was this act passed? It was to remedy discontent of the Indian people. And what were the provisions of Morley Minto Act? It increased number of Indians in the Legislative Assembly and separate electorate was provided for Indian Muslims. Lucknow Pact. In the Lucknow session of Indian National Congress in 1916, under the leadership of Lokmanya Tilak, an attempt was made to resolve the dispute in the Indian National Congress. In the same year, there was an agreement between Indian National Congress and Muslim League known as Lucknow Pact. According to this pact, Indian National Congress agreed to separate electorates to Muslims and Muslim League agreed to support the Indian National Congress for getting political rights to India. Next, we come to the Home Rule Movement. Home Rule means self-government. Why was this movement started? The First World War started in Europe and effects of this war could be bared by India as well. The rates of basic necessary commodities were increasing. Many restrictions were placed on Indians by the British government. Who were the leaders of this movement? Dr. Annie Besant and Lokmanya Tilak. And what were the demands of this movement? It was right of self-government in India. Tilak stated that Swaraj is my birthright and I shall have it. First World War in India. To get support of Indians, British government decided to provide some political rights to the Indians. In 1917, Montague, Secretary of State for India, declared that step by step Indians will be given right to self-government and responsible government. Tilak also declared that if the government is going to show sympathy and considerable attitude towards the demands of the Indians, only then Indian public is ready to cooperate with the British. This policy of Lokmanya Tilak is known as responsive cooperation. Montague Chelmsford Reform Act. It was passed in 1990. Less important departments were transferred to Indian ministers. Finance, home affairs and revenue were under control of government. It did not give much exposure to the demand of responsible government. Tilak criticized the act in the words this is neither Swaraj nor its foundation. The Indians understood that if they have to subdue the British government, then the agitation needs to be more firm. India got prepared for a new movement. 
which we will study in the next chapter. Children, with this we finish explanation for this lesson. Thank you for listening. Goodbye and take care.